So while you're, you're studying physics and you're learning about that science, what does the timeline look like? And how are you finding time to then like travel all over the place and explore? Okay, so I studied um, my, um, my master's in physics 10 years ago in, in 2012. And on my second year, um, we, uh, no, it was on my first year of study, we have this call for applications for a student's exchange program in India uh, hosted by our national government. So I just like applied, tried my luck again. And I was really lucky to be um, able, uh, uh, that I was accepted like one of the 25 um, students all over the country okay. who were sent to, to experience India for an exchange program. It was um, two weeks, uh, a two week program. And that was actually my first travel outside of, uh, of the Philippines. So okay. it was really um, um, my first time um, exploring a new territory, meeting uh, people from, you know, with, with different culture and different yeah. race and different language. Yeah, in the um, students exchange program, um, it's an exchange program between India and the 10 ASEAN countries. So I was also able to meet uh, new people and make friends um, from uh, from people of uh, uh, with people from those countries, so it was only a short program, like two weeks, and we were kind of hectic. We went to I think four cities in two weeks, so we have to travel. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, we stayed in one city for three days, and the next day we have to fly to fly out and go to to another city. And when I may like meet other people from, let's say, Thailand, Cambodia. Um, they, they keep saying that, oh, after this one, you should visit our country as well. We have, yeah. um, we have beautiful places in, this, in our country. So I've kind of made network um, from people within, uh, within those countries. And after that, when I graduated, I worked as a professor. So every semester break or every break that we have, I've, yeah, that's when I make time to travel to other countries. So like after I graduated um, on a summer break, me and my friends also went to Brunei and the friends we made from Brunei, they kind of hosted us. So, wow. and they, they showed us around. And I think that's uh, one good thing um, of making networks um, with people from other countries is, is that you have um, someone you can really trust in when you, when you visit uh, when you visit their place and they know uh, more about of their country so they can show you really authentic um, local experiences that you want to try. So yeah. especially me, I like, I really like eating um, local foods. So yeah, they actually know where to, to, to show, to bring us uh, like this restaurant serves the best uh, dish. So you, you should try this one. So every time I travel, I don't really eat in McDonald's or KFC or any fast food. I really go to their authentic restaurants and um, street foods to really have a taste of their culture. 